So I'm fixing to go out real quick, see if I can't catch some bait and uh, catch a couple fish. Wind's up pretty high. I don't have a whole lot of time, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay or not um, or be able to get out there and fish with the way the wind is. But our water's still pretty cold here, and uh, the shad are out in deeper water right now during the middle of the day. Sometimes in the morning and the evening, you can find them up shallow. But during the middle of the day like this, you've got to go out in deep water, usually 30 plus feet of water to be able to catch them. And when you go out in that deep water, you have to have a cast net made for catching bait in that deep water. So if you're in water that's, let's say, less than about 20 feet or so, you can throw a regular cast net. You just need to make sure you have a good uh, larger mesh size, like half inch or five eighths mesh, um, because that, that's what allows that net to really sink quickly in that deeper water. But if you go out in water that's deeper than about 20, 25 feet, then your best bet is to have a taped cast net. So this is a Phytech Super Spreader taped cast net, but what makes this net different? This is, uh, I believe, half inch mesh. I've got half and five eighths both. Again, you wanna use that larger mesh size when you're in deeper water because um, that's what allows that net to sink more quickly. If you use a real tight mesh in deep water, it'll sink really, really slow be very difficult to catch bait with. But the difference in this net and a normal cast net is this tape around the bottom edge. And this is a, uh, it's almost like lawn chair webbing is what I like to, to describe it as. But um, this is attached to the net here all the way around the bottom. And having that webbing on there keeps that net open when it's sinking through the water. If you throw just a regular net without that tape on it in deep water, the net begins to close as it's sinking. So when it finally hits the bottom, it's not open fully, but this tape drags through the water and that keeps the net open. So whenever it hits the bottom, you have a, a full circle down there so you can catch more bait. So I'm gonna get the Pro Cat hooked up here uh, go out, get the boat launched, and see if I can't find some shad. Don't know if I'm going to be able to fish or not. I'm sitting here kind of looking out at the water right now, and it's rolling pretty good. But I'm at least going to go see if I can't catch some bait, go look around on my graph, and I'll show you how these taped cast nets work in deep water to catch shad. Let me get my spot lock hit right here. Don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, wind is up really high right now, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it done, but I'm gonna try to cast some shad here real quick out in this deep water using my taped cast net. Shad are still out kind of deep, and uh, they're not real, real thick, but I'm gonna throw here real quick, see if I can't pull a few up. I don't need a whole bunch, so let me get the net thrown real quick, see if I can't catch some shad. little bit of a taco but it's out there and we're gonna see if we can let it sink
felt real heavy. Those must have been little bitty thread pins. I was afraid of that, but we'll see if we... Yep. You look right there. And one little bitty thread fin. So what happens is when you see shad like that on the screen and you throw, you get the net opened up good and you don't catch anything, that's a... Uh, I can't remember if that's a half inch or three quarter inch mesh net, but the shad just swim right through it. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna turn my spot lock off here. Drive down a little bit more. See if I can't find some. Stacked up a little bit thicker. It's tough when this water temperature gets like this. Fish start moving. Shad get scattered out. And uh, they can be hard to find sometimes. So there's some right there. They're pretty thick. It's a little shad down there, but it looks like there may be some bigger one too. And this is kind of tucked out of the wind. So I'm gonna, I just dropped a waypoint on there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to throw right there. I'm not gonna throw very many more times because I, I just don't have a lot of time. I may just have to use what I have. I'd like to have some bigger shad, but uh, being on a time crunch, it doesn't really help. I may just take these smaller ones and go up in the shallower water. So I'm going to spot lock right there where I found those bait. And try to throw again. See if I can't get me a few more. Got a lot of birds working around here on the top of the water. Wind is kicking. It's a long time for this old tape net to get all the way down to the bottom. You just have to let that rope move freely and just kind of let it slide through your hand. I just do that like this right here. That way I can tell that when it stops. There we go, it's on the bottom now. You want to make sure you get it all the way down to the bottom. That was a little shed again, I guess.